welcome back to the whatnots reactor core for another trailer reaction this time the drops of god interesting yeah one. You, I'm, I'm assuming we are like one of the few channels that is going to be reacting to this <laughs> trailer because i don't know anyone Who knows? who's seen or heard of of this but apparently it's a best selling manga which we'll get to in judge a sec my name is kyle springer and I am joined by Melissa Wilkinson. Melissa, how are you? Hello. I'm doing well. We've had a week full of big trailers for movies coming out that were on the docket. We knew to look forward to, like, we've got a Spider-Verse trailer, Blue Beetle, Barbie. Mm -hmm. We know oh, these yeah. are on the horizon. This completely blindsided me. I had no idea this was happening. I, I didn't either and i'm so excited that i saw this because it, it it like yes from the moment i sent it to you it only released like 40 minutes before that so i was like i just like it just came out melissa here's the trailer we need to do a reaction on this so we are so excited for the drops of god because melissa you and i have both read the first four volumes of the manga mm. i don't know exactly how many there are i know it's a lot um yes but we, we we've read the first four volumes of the manga and we covered them on another p podcast that we do called the re the re 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 review show i'll put a little mm. card thing up in one of the corners as well as i'm sure i'll link it at the end uh but yes if you want to hear us go talk about the manga uh we we have yeah. a whole podcast all about that we had no idea they were making this into a no. live action <laughs> the thing i'm i'm stoked i'm so stoked <laughs> i it's been one of my favorite manga we've gotten to read on the show where it's, it's book club style we'll read a different manga a different comic watch season one of a show anything we can cover in a week i found drops of god is a comicsology exclusive comicsology original at least they're mm -hmm. the exclusive carrier of the english translation and it is a competitive sommelier story <laughs> And I it's, love that concept. Imagine a sports manga, but yes. not sports. It's about like, yeah, like drinking and tasting wine. <laughs> I mean, like, mm, yeah, this one uh -huh. has like hints of oak wood and cherry. Um, and mm -hmm. it, yeah, like it, it's it's an interesting sto story. I, th I, I think I remember us both liking the story. Uh, the manga also has its own issues and stuff like that. But let's check out the trailer. I'm I'm excited yeah. to see what they are making of this here. Um, mm -hmm. I am pulling it up on screen uh, and I will count down from three and then we can start it. Three, two, one, play. Oh, it's in French. Oh. Last time I spoke to him was 11 oh. years ago. Okay, so in the manga, the kid was mm. a guy. Not a yes. girl. Yes. Interesting. It's the biggest wine collection in the world. It's full value. One hundred forty-eight million dollars. <sighs> he set up a test to determine who would inherit this. His daughter. This actually looks kind of good. <laughs> this looks so high stakes. It really does. And some Japanese in there too. This, this is kind of wild. I <laughs> I really love everything they're doing with this. This was not the vibe I got f from the manga at all. <laughs> yes, the manga is, like you said, almost sporty in its enthusiasm about wine, tasting wine, knowing the history, knowing the context, knowing how to apply wine to your everyday life. And it is about uh, this famous sommelier dies. And he it's his sort of unofficially adopted this protege he has who's practically yeah. his son. 
And then it is his estranged biological son who like doesn't drink at all. But as a kid, his dad trained him in like tasting things. You know, it's just the, having those, him like, smell I things. I secretly trained you without telling you I trained yes, you and all of this. Yes. So you don't know you're like, it, it, like yes. a, a superstar at this, but you are. Yeah, uh, he's got this like incredible super taster palette. And so it's him competing against the protege. And then he has, uh, he befriends this girl who works for a, a wine distributor. Like a like a mm-hmm. wine company who like uh, buys and sells things to liquor stores who's like brand new in the field and she's like I I scored this job I don't really know what I'm doing so oh no no she is she's training I think she's training like she it's does know wine like she that. wants to know wine but he's like her way into like knowing it better and I yeah. think maybe I it's been a while since we've read it but yeah instead of having these two guys and then this this woman who's like a very close in step with them they've changed it so that now this this late sommelier has this estranged daughter he hasn't seen in years and they've brought in a a french connection to it which i think makes sense given the oh yeah supreme amount of uh you know cultural importance that wine has in france and how much of just those four issues of the manga that we read that were talking so much about just the countryside just the terroir of of france and how the grapes grow there like like bringing in making it a french co-production i think makes a lot of sense for what the story for sure for sure yeah the 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 manga was interesting because it just nonstop had a lot of information but i think our main critique of that was i don't think there was a single conversation in the manga that wasn't about wine (laughs) Yeah, which was a little annoying, but it like that's what's so interesting, I think, about this adaption is that it feel like there feels like it is a very serious tension between like this yeah. high stakes like thing, which is not what I got from the manga at all. The manga felt more lighthearted, more not mm. silly, but like there was a, a lightheartedness to it that was just like, oh, like uh, this person like claims to not know what they're j- j- doing but they're they're just kind of fumbling around and they stumble on the right uh thing here and yeah. there was like that that one wine store that they go to check out that was owned by the two brothers that had a like yes. a falling out and so, so their whole store is like separated like oh here's i only get wines from this like there, there's a, mm-hmm. a silliness to all of that y- even the like office wine tasting party that was yeah. in one of the volumes there like it's just kind of silly uh this feels like oh there is a very serious mystery like maybe my father died under mysterious circumstances and he's trying to (laughs) identify the killer yeah based on these (laughs) wines here like that's what it feels like i I, I don't think that that's the actual plot but uh, um but it's it's something of that much importance that much prestige this feels like more of a a real high class drama whereas the drops of god manga was it was so passionate about wine but in this very sort of bright earnest like you said, yes. like almost sort of silly way where it's like everything's about wine. They they, they, they go on these wine mini quests to save <laughs> like a, a liquor store or to save a restaurant that got terrible reviews and is going downhill just because they paired the wrong wine with a dish that they serve to a food critic. So they have to figure out what is the right wine to pair with this dish to have the food critic come back and give you a good review and save your restaurant. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. That being said, I did like when she has the like memories of all of the the, the, mm-hmm. the stuff, how she identifies the sense yeah. or the taste, all that stuff. They were these like explosions of color, like that color powder and colored smoke yeah. that then like transport her back in into her childhood uh i i did like that because it was like the the very serious high stakes drama is like filled with like golds and browns and dark reds and stuff like this mm-hmm. and it, it's it's these very like dark not muted tones but very yeah. serious tones right mm. and then it's and and then it's like bright blue and lime green and yeah. like red which, and, which i think you need to balance out you know like there's a limited number of, of colors in the palette of grapes and wines compared to all the different colors you could put on film. 
There you go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that I think is all I have to say on mm -hmm. this one here. The Drops of God, Apple TV Plus. I think it's going to be an eight episode mini series yes. out later this month. Uh, so, yeah, it, go, yeah, premieres go check it out. April 21st. I'm going to watch all of it. We surely will talk about this again. We should. Yeah, um, for sure. With that being said, Melissa, where can the people find you on the Internet? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at WilkyWit. That's W-I-L-K-Y-W-I-T. And listen to my other podcast, Saturday Morning Obscurities. You guys can find me at Yo Kyle Springer. If you'd like to follow all of the stuff that we do here at The Whatnots, we are at The Whatnots on Twitter. Uh, like we said, we have a bunch of uh, other trailer reactions that we did this week that you guys can go check out. Uh, but I will also put the review show episode of us talking about the drops yes. of God right over there on that side. So please go check that one out, too. Um, the manga is on Comixology Unlimited. But until next time, bye. Bye.